Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Tech of Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Elric, your host, and today we've got something pretty exciting to announce to you folks. Now, you guys all know, though, that there's been a giant storm going over on the East Coast, and these products were actually done on a silent launch on Monday, but due to the storm and everything that's going on in New York, this thing kind of got pushed back a little bit. So before we even start this video, I just want to send out my heartfelt remorse for all the people back there in New York and the East Coast that have to suffer through all this stuff. Everybody here is praying for you folks and we hope that you guys really get over this soon. Now, the stuff that we're gonna be looking at today is the new Google Nexus 10 and the Google Nexus 4. One is a tablet and one is a phone and both these products are supposed to be released in mid-November. So with that said, let's jump in and let's check out what both these new things have to offer. I think for people out there who are haters of Apple products, you just found a tablet that's gonna make your day. Let's go. So now let's take a look at the Nexus 10. This bad boy is designed by Samsung and features a 10-inch 2560 by 1600 Corning Gorilla Glass 2 display. It features a dual-core A15 CPU, 16 gigabytes of internal storage, and two gigabytes of RAM has a 5 megapixel rear facing camera, a 1.9 megapixel front camera. Now as far as connectivity goes, it features a micro USB, a magnetic pogo pin charger, micro HDMI out, and a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now this monster features a huge 9,000 milliamp hour lithium battery, which should equate to excellent battery life in many hours on the road between recharges. Just like the Nexus 4, it also ships with Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, but with minor tweaks to better suit the tablet interface. But the best feature of all is it will ship for $399 and seriously give the iPad a run for its money. Welcome into the game, Nexus 10. Now let's look at the Nexus 4. The Nexus 4 is designed by LG and looks very similar to the previous Galaxy Nexus. It features a 4.7 inch 1280 by 768 Corning Grill Glass 2 display, and those extra 48 pixels are for software buttons since there are no physical buttons usable. So the real real estate is 720 by 1280. It features a quad core 1.5 gigahertz Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Pro CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, eight gigabyte storage option is 299. The 16 gigabyte internal storage option is 349. You get an eight megapixel rear camera and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. This also ships with Android 4.2, which is still Jelly Bean, with minor improvements like Photosphere, quick settings, improved notifications, pinch to zoom in Gmail, gesture typing, and enhancements to Google Now. Now, here's where it gets weird. There's no LTE. Wah, wah, wah. But it's clear Google is pricing this very aggressively, starting out at $300 unlocked, when most of the top smartphones cost at least twice that amount unlocked. All right, folks, so tell me your thoughts on this video and these two new products that are coming out by Google. My main question for you folks is, since a lot of you guys are total people who wanna piss on Apple, do you find yourself jumping on this tablet right away? In all honesty on the side, I'm gonna get one as soon as it comes out. Now, here's a question I really wanna to pose to all you guys. LTE. Do you guys feel that on this new Google Nexus 4 that having no LTE is a deal breaker? Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below because this seems to be a very common thing about people not liking this. So I hope you guys like the video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you're always subscribed to the channel so in case you miss anything, you'll make sure you get it in your mailbox. And that's about it. I thank you folks for watching and I'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow tomorrow.